Rebecca Acosta, and I created Movement and Light to help parents, teachers, and educators navigate vision services. Our topic for today is the Voice Stream Scanner and Reader app. So you're going to want to start off by opening the Voice Stream Scanner app. You'll want to put your document into the view of the camera. And if you are completely blind, you can do this by using a scanning box. There is a opaque white box where it's trying to auto scan the margins. And you want to press the red button off to the side to take the picture. And it, the, red, the opaque box has auto scan the margins perfectly, but you can also, if it doesn't auto scan the margins perfectly, uh, move the white circles to the where the margins need to be. You want to press save. And then the document, as you can tell by the yellow highlighting, has been OCR'd. OCR means optical character recognition, and that means that it the computer has gone in and pulled the text from the document. You want to press uh, keep and then you'll come to this screen and you want to press save. And you can save to voice dream reader. That's probably the easiest, but if it's a larger document, I'll usually save my PDF to uh, my Google Drive. And you can also pull a Google Drive file to your Voice Dream Reader app. And you'll want to save and name your document. I'm just going to name it Reader's Notebook for this demo. And you can keep or delete the document in the Voice Dream Scanner app. I usually delete it because it's already been saved to the Voice Dream Reader. You want to open Voice Stream Reader, and your scan from Voice Stream Scanner should be the first option on your list of scanned items. And your worksheet has already been OCR'd, and it will start to read once you press play. Details. Details. Listen to the words in the word bank. Read along. Fill in each line to write captions for the picture. Choose words from the word bank or use your own. See, Mac is in there. Sometimes because it's in columns, it doesn't read in the correct order. But you can press the top library button, come back to your sources, and I'm going to open up a chapter page. Uh, this hasn't been OCR'd yet, so I'm going to press proceed when it says to OCR. It's going to take a little bit to OCR because it, it's trying to recognize the text in a full chapter, but it's not too long, a couple seconds to a minute at most. And while this is loading, I was going to talk about some of the limitations to the app. Uh, for instance, CVI is one of the words it's going to read, and it says CVI. I have been trying to find a way to add it to the dictionary and as soon as I know how to do that I will make a video about it so that you can get it to say certain words the way that they are supposed to be pronounced. So now it's loaded and it will read in sequential order a lot better with a chapter. I accidentally cut the audio uh, as it was reading, but I can use this time to tell you some of the pluses. I do like that it's a more human voice versus a synthesized voice. So you want to press the little library icon to go back to the little library. And I did want to show you that there's multiple ways to pull files into your voice stream uh, reader app. You can use Bookshare, Google Drive, uh, files on your computer or your iPad. What I usually do for large documents like chapters is to scan them on a Xerox or a scanner and then save them to Google Drive. And then 
import them into the Voice Dream Reader app that way. I'm pulling up my Google Drive now. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff, but I am going to go to textbook um, and then I'm going to autism and VI. And I'm going to just import uh, chapter six. You want to press the upload button in the corner. And then I'm going to go back. And it is the first one that shows up in the list. So I just want to show you real quick uh, adding on Bookshare. So you want to press the Bookshare icon and it'll bring up the login for Bookshare. You'll want to put in your email and your password. I don't have an account, so I can't show you specifics. But when you go in, it's pretty easy. You search for a book. And then when you search for that book, it'll say if it's available to download right next to it, it has a little download icon. Now I want to show you some of the features at the top of the Voice Dream Reader app. Uh, you have the first one, which is the little volume uh, icon. And that one, if you click on it, and you can set the speech rate. I have it at about 175 words per minute. Some people like it faster, some people like it slower. You can pick language, you can pick voice. And um, I just chose a voice with an accent because I like the way she talks, but there are voices without accents as well. Voice Dream Reader can read text in multiple languages. I think one of the new ones they just added was Chinese um, and one of the most recent updates. Uh, you sh will have to go into your language settings for that. But the next one I wanted to show you was the little uppercase A and lowercase A. And that one is um, showing the text. And you can have it as plain text, which is what this uh, background looks like here. Or for the PDFs, it'll say original text. And um, you can either have it as it's originally formatted or as plain text. You can also change the color settings as well. Um, with background, foreground, and highlighting color. And then the last button on the far right is the bookmark button. So if you are leaving off at a place in a chapter, you can bookmark it. Lastly, I know I said earlier that I didn't know how to add in dictionary pronunciations. I actually learned in between making this video. You want to press on the icon for volume and you want to go down to pronunciation dictionary and you, I've already added CVI in there because it was saying CVI but you want to press the plus in the corner um, to add the uh, pronunciation and you'll put the word the original word in the top column here and then you'll go down to the bottom where it says pronunciation and you can type it out so and um, hear how it's pronounced with the red play button right here. I'd like to thank you all for watching my brief tutorial on Voice Dream Reader, as well as the Voice Dream Scanner app. And I wish you all to have a good day. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more content.